This is Twit. The biggest, the biggest question I think both Paul and I were getting all week this week was about Android, which is interesting um, since we're talking about Microsoft here. And it all stemmed from a uh, tip that the mobile leaker named EvLeaks, who's Evan Blass, posted up uh, early Monday. He said, there's going to be a an Android-powered Lumia phone coming out from Microsoft. And that really got everybody in a panic. Uh, I should say it got everybody who's a Windows phone yeah, exactly. fan in a panic. Yep. <laughs> Not everybody, but yeah, uh, because... Everyone who matters, I think, is <laughs> our, our Our people got in a panic. And um, the reason is Microsoft has done some dabbling with Android on Windows phones. They do a thing called the Nokia X phone. But this is a whole different thing. This is Lumia high-end smartphone, um, something brand new. And people were not too happy to hear that possibly could have Android as its main operating system. Even if it's an Android open source project, people still were not real keen on this. Um, so then Paul wrote a really good post about could this be Microsoft's plan B? And I'll let him kind of launch into that. But I thought he, he brought up some good points with that. Now, the, the interesting thing about this is Lumia has had some of the most beautifully designed hardware, I'd say, in the last yep. three years. Yep. I mean, I, I'd even place it above the iPhone. It's yeah. been saddled, and I, I'm saying that in a negative way, but even though I, I actually do like uh, a, a, a wind phone, with an OS that, that doesn't quite meet up to the expectations of the hardware. And uh, one of the things that I most like about the Lumia uh, cameras, have uh, phones, is their camera. Their camera is absolutely right. phenomenal. I mean, I would, I would in a heartbeat, trade in my phone if I could get an Android device that has Lumia's With design camera, and Lumia's yeah. camera. If, if they do that, and if this becomes successful, I mean, if this, is the, if this becomes the Android phone to use, Paul, yeah. what happens to Windows Phone? <laughs> right. I don't want to contemplate that. It, it's actually, it's interesting that you bring up the camera part because um, I was, I, I had also written something about the Lumia 1020 in, uh, this past week, um, which is the phone that came out a year ago this month. And I actually still use that day to day, which is kind of an amazing thing because as you may understand, I mean, I have all kinds of devices coming through here every week. I have my choice of devices and I'm using a phone that came out a year ago. That's actually pretty amazing. Um, but for all of the wonderful qualities of that camera, there are issues that are, in fact, related to the hardware. It, uh, Windows Phone at the time, of course, was made by Microsoft, which at the time was a separate company from Nokia. So Nokia couldn't add some low-level functionality to the camera software because they didn't have access to that level of access to the OS. Likewise, Windows Phone doesn't support certain hardware features that would have made the phone, uh, the camera in the phone operate more quickly or more efficiently. Um, if you compare that uh, uh, camera from the 1020 with like the peer view camera from I forget the name of the device the Nokia 92 or whatever that was that came before the first peer view um, there was some optical hardware in there that they were able to do when they were controlling the hardware platform and so I'm not saying that going to Android would actually fix that problem uh, it's possible that just combining Nokia and Microsoft can help get that stuff moving along but um, absolutely Starting behind as they did with Windows Phone, it, you know, you, you're kind of always playing this game of catch up. And it's true in the apps department, obviously, the online services that are supported on the platform. And uh, it's true in the hardware. Um, there are some pros to the hardware stuff. You know, Windows Phone runs more efficiently than Android does on the same hardware and so forth. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the point remains. So, you know, I, I, there are all these permutations of what Microsoft could be doing. I have heard almost nothing about this. Um, we know that they're doing the X phones that Nokia first started which of those uh, AOSP, the Android open standard, uh, and not full-blown, you know, Google Play Android. Um, and then we has, and then I have some theories or some ideas about how Microsoft could combine the Android platform with Windows, with Windows Phone software. And of course, uh, as Mary Jo has talked a lot over the past year, uh, Microsoft is working in some way to combine Windows Phone and Windows RT into something, you know, in some threshold era um, combination of those products. So... It was a lot. It's just, it's a it's a big it's a big topic, and if you're a Windows Phone fan, it's a um, it's a tough thing to even contemplate, I guess. Mm -hmm.